Hey guys, it's me, Courtney, from Know Your Produce, and today we're gonna be making broccoli mushroom stir fry. It's so good. I like to serve it over noodles or rice. You could double the sauce recipe if you like a lot of sauce. Let's get started and chop those veggies. So I'm going to be using an onion. First, I'm gonna turn my pan on because I want it to get hot. So you're gonna hear it a little bit. It's not gonna be too loud, I hope. We're gonna put it on like three and a half, which is a medium high heat. Then I'm gonna put some avocado oil into my pan. And then we're just gonna slice our onion. So I'm removing the top. So we can actually go like this and like this. So we're just gonna slice our onion. I like to cut it into like quarters like that. So what I do is I just go like this on the onion. Just make sure you're not getting your hands, keep it tucked. And then we're gonna cut this up. I like big chunks of onions in mine. If you like it smaller, you can chop it. But I like it like this. And then once it gets to that part, you could just go like this. Make sure you're using all that onion, get all those deliciousness. Onion adds a ton of flavor. So we're just gonna scoop this up. I don't want any of the scoochies. And then put that right into our pan. So now I'm gonna cut my garlic, and my eyes are watering those onions. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like to cut that little bit off of the bottom of the garlic, I don't know. My mom taught me it, so I kinda stuck with it. I'm just using my little petite Sanchuco from Cutco. Love this knife, this is like my favorite knife in the kitchen. Aside from like when I'm cutting like a watermelon or something, I'll use um, the chef knife. And then I just give it a rough chop and then I'm gonna mince it. And then we're just gonna rock that knife onto the garlic. Those onions were really strong, whoa. And I like to keep my fingers on my knife like this. As you can see, it's keeping my fingers out of harm's way and it's like allowing me to easily rock it. Like it keeps the knife on it. I'm not a professional by any means, but that's how I do it. I'm just gonna bring this over with the back of the knife, scootsy it over to our pan. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Please use clean hands. <laughs> Get all of that garlic. And then we're just gonna use a clean cloth and really get that garlic off. It likes to stick onto your hands. And now I'm going to cut up my mushrooms. But first I'm gonna give this a little zhuzh. Mm, you can really smell the onions cooking and now that little bit of garlic that I added. You do not want this to burn. A little piece of skin. So let's put it down to two. So hard to tell with like a burner like this. With a fire, you can really tell what the fire is going on. But we want to get these nice and browned because they're gonna add a lot of flavor to the dish. So now we're gonna cut up our mushrooms. And I just like to take the mushrooms with the stems. I will remove the bottom portion of the, the stem. Get all that garlic. And then once that, that bottom portion is gone, I'm just gonna cut it into like nice big chunks. I'm not slicing it here. And then I'll take this one, this piece of the onion again. The onion's getting everywhere. Take off the bottom. And if the bottom's really dried out, you could just remove it. This one's a little dried, so I went a little deeper. So I'm gonna keep chopping these up and then I'm gonna add them to the pan. And we wanna make sure that we're moving that around as needed. We do not want the garlic to burn. Now I'm almost done cutting my mushrooms. It may look like a lot, but remember, mushrooms are gonna shrivel down. These really do shrink. So, use as much as you need. I like to use the big family pack. So I'm gonna raise this up to a three, and now I'm gonna mix it around a little more. I really want the onions to be a little bit more brown. Like not brown brown, but I wanna see more color on them. Gosh, it smells so good. Just alone, this smells amazing. Everything good starts with onions and garlic. Do you agree? 
We have another really good recipe if you guys haven't seen it. It's our garlic sauce, our Chinese garlic sauce. Super flavorful. My daughter will just literally dunk vegetables into it. So good, so good. <laughs> I've like made it so many times during my pregnancy. I just love it over rice with veggies and I'm just so happy. A little bit of chickpeas, so good. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to add my mushrooms now. A lot of mushrooms here. I don't wanna drop any. So add all those in. And they're gonna cook down, don't worry. We're gonna have enough room for the broccoli. <laughs> So once these are really cooked down, that is when I'll add my broccoli. I'm gonna raise it up. And now that I have the mushrooms in there, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. You hear that? It's gonna help cook those mushrooms down a bit more. And then we're just gonna let this cook now. So I'm gonna walk away from it, let it do its thing while I get the broccoli and the seasonings and all this stuff that makes the good sauce for our stir fry. Let's give it a little bit of mix. And now that should be good. So let's go get the sauce. You can see the mushrooms are really cooking down a bit. We still wanna cook them all the way. They're still not fully cooked. They're gonna shrink a lot more than this. So these are just about done. I'm gonna let them go for a few more minutes. But while these are going, I'm going to start on the sauce. So here we go. In this bowl, I'm gonna mix everything. I like to start off with hot water because the hoisin sauce is really thick and it kind of helps melt it kind of like liquefied instead of a gelatinous goo. So we're gonna take about three fourths cup of water and I'm using hot water. And then we're gonna take that gelatinous hoisin sauce, so good. Lots of flavor in the hoisin sauce. I'm gonna use about three tablespoons. So one. Look, it even sticks in the spoon. Two, three. And then we're gonna add in some soy sauce. You could also use coconut aminos. I'm just trying to use up all my soy sauce because I have some in the house anyway. So we're gonna use two taste. If you like it really salty, you can add more. I'm using one third cup. And then we're also gonna use some ginger. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon. Now, if you wanted to use fresh ginger, you could also do that. You would wanna cook it with the um, onion and the garlic. So I'm using a half a teaspoon, almost heaping, because I like the ginger flavor. And then we're gonna add in some sesame oil as well. We're gonna mix this. Try to get all that poison out of the spoon. It smells so good. So one teaspoon, or I'm sorry, one tablespoon of the sesame oil. And then I'm actually taking a shortcut with the broccoli today. I actually prefer using frozen broccoli for stir fries. So what I do is I actually buy a big bag of frozen broccoli and then I'll put it in the fridge the morning of that I'm gonna use it. And then it's kind of like this defrosted broccoli. It's not fully defrosted because I did it early this morning and it's still kind of afternoon. But this is perfect to put right into the stir fry so I don't have to cook it a long time. It's not completely frozen broccoli. It's kind of like, it's a little softer. So it's got a little bit of pliableness to it. <laughs> So we're gonna give this another mix. Those mushrooms are really cooking down now, but they still have a little bit to go. And that water we added really adds a lot of flavor because all of the onion, the garlic, and the mushrooms especially give that water a lot of flavor. So we're gonna bump it up to almost like high heat, because I really want to cook that juice out of this. 
and I want those mushrooms to really cook down. So now I used all of these ingredients in the sauce. You could even double this if you're putting it with like a lot of noodles because the noodles are gonna absorb that sauce. Or if you're using it over rice, again, the rice will absorb that sauce. But this is a good batch for even using it with the noodles and everything. But if you want a lot of sauce, like you like that really thick sauce, you can absolutely use it. And if you want this sauce thickened, you can use cornstarch, but we kind of like it loose so it goes all over the noodles and absorbs into it. Um, but yeah, it's super easy. So keep stirring those mushrooms. You don't want it to stick or burn on the pan. So these mushrooms are looking pretty darn good now. Lots of smoke coming up, oh my goodness. So now we're gonna add in that broccoli. Try not to drop it all over. And once I have it like mixed, I'm going to add in that sauce so it helps the broccoli and everything cook. And it's also gonna cook the sauce. Ooh. See, look at that poison sauce, even just coats the bottom of the bowl. Just get it all out because that's flavor. <laughs> so now that I have the sauce, the broccoli, the mushrooms, everything in here, I want to let this come up to a boil and then I'm going to let it simmer just until the broccoli is fully cooked. We don't want frozen broccoli, right? So this is going to do its thing. Once it comes up to the boil, we will reduce the heat to low. So now that it's beautifully boiling, I'm just going to give it another stir and I'm going to reduce the heat to 2.5. So it's like a low simmer. You see all that delicious sauce? Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. So now I turn down the heat, you can see it's nice and calm. <laughs> and you see how that sauce is delicious. I mean, if you wanted, you could put the noodles right in here. I'm just gonna let this continue to cook for a little bit. And I'm gonna go get my noodles. So now I'm gonna turn that heat up again. I'm gonna add in my hot spaghetti. Right over top, hot, hot. <laughs> and we're just gonna to toss this. I like to use a pair of tongs. And I really let that sauce cook into those noodles now, too. You can add any veggies you like into this, but we kept it with just the mushrooms and the broccoli. It's one of our family favorites, and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as we do because it's so good. It really is. It's one of our favorites. Super easy and quick to cook together. Like when you don't feel like cooking. You can add some tofu into here. You can add some chickpeas, but this is good to go for me. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. You can use like a high protein chickpea pasta or something. So I'm gonna plate this and enjoy. Just let it sit and those noodles are gonna absorb all those flavors. So our dish is done. I'm going to enjoy some right now. It's so good, oh my goodness. All of those noodles really absorb that sauce. So yummy. I like to get some extra veggies in there. So I just made myself a little bit of a plate. It's really hot, but I'm gonna take a bite, get some of the mushroom, get some of the noodles, get some of the broccoli, and here we go, cheers. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's like Chinese food at home. It's like fake out, take out. My daughter loves it, my husband loves it. And you could just do just the veggies alone. But the noodles with that sauce, oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go eat this off camera, but I hope you guys give it a try. We will see you next week with another delicious recipe. If you wanna see more recipes like this, be sure to subscribe, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you guys soon, bye-bye. Oh my gosh, so good. <laughs> bye bye. <gasps>
He's enjoying some before he goes to work. <laughs> Are they filming? 